Hello, I'm Todd Clemens, Okeechobee Livestock Market, and here's your weekly market report, the first one for 2023. There are a lot of movements we'd, we've heard of that start out with the word save. Save the whale, save the manatees, save the shark, save our river. Let's add another one to that list. How about save the cowboy? I saw a shirt yesterday that Dina, our restaurant manager was wearing and it said make America cowboy again. The whole world loves the cowboy culture, their way of life, free-spirited, hard-working, honorable and trustworthy. The hottest shows on TV right now have to do with the cowboys and ranch and life. And I think more people, they're beginning to understand that it's not just the cowboy and the cows, but it's the land. The wide open spaces of the pasture, the woods, the creeks, the rivers, the wildlife that depends on their habitat to remain untouched by bulldozers and drag lines. Yeah, let's save the cowboy, and in doing so, we've protected our land from every inch of it being developed into concrete commercialism. Please support all efforts, federal and state, for conservation easements on our agricultural lands. We have to remain food sufficient. I heard a report just last week that said in 1985, our global population was around two and a half billion people that we had reached our critical mass as far as sustainability. Now we're at nine billion people globally. That's scary. Florida is busting at the seams with more and more people every day, and I don't blame them. They want to live here too. So how do we manage the people and the land and the water? I'm not sure I know the answer to that question. What I do know is I agree with that verse of scripture on my dad's tombstone that says, generations come and generations go, but the land abides forever. And it's up to us to figure it out. How about supporting us and uh, get this message out by either clicking or subscribing to our website and do your part to save the cowboy.